Yeah, hi. This video is about evolution and how I see it. To me, evolution begins in the brain. It, it's not something that just happens. Usually it begins with a thought. For example, maybe one day long ago, we may have lived in the trees. And then we thought, well, why not move out of the trees? So we moved down on the ground, and then we lived in caves. And then we maybe we went from being vegetarians to being meat eaters. And now that we have evolved even further, we have the idea of, well, why do we have to eat meat when there's other things available? You know, and back before this even, people had the idea of why hunt when you can just grow your food? So a lot of people stopped moving around and hunting and, you know, because they would have to move with the animals to hunt. So they thought, well, why do that? Why not just stay in one place and grow your food? So then they did that. But then maybe they had some bad weather and maybe they had to um, revert back to hunting again. But now that we live in this age of, um, you know, the way we do now, we don't have to eat meat, but a lot of people don't really think about it. They just do what their parents did and what they were told to do, and other people do think about it, and so they don't eat meat because they think more about what they're eating. So I think that if we're ever going to evolve, then you have to start thinking about what you're doing and questioning what you do and why you do it. For me, I became vegan or vegetarian about 16, 17 years ago. I began to gain weight and I realized that pretty much everyone around me was fat and including my family members were all overweight to the point of obesity and I realized that I didn't want to be like them and I realized that I had to change my way of eating and the way I thought about food so I began to not drink dairy because dairy, I realize that milk is for cows, for baby cows, it's not made for humans. So I switched to uh, soy, although now I drink almond, almond milk that is, I prefer almond milk, but I drink the unsweetened, but I don't really drink it, I just use it for cooking if I do, so if I need to. But anyway, um, you know, every, anything you use as dairy or meat can be replaced by non-dairy or non-meat is how I looked at it. So, well, here I am 16 years, 15, 17 years later, and I don't get colds anymore. I don't get sick. I don't gain weight. My weight stays the same, you know. And of course, the best thing about it is, you know, I am healthier. Uh, I don't have to watch my weight. I can eat anything I want. I can eat all day if I want, and usually I do. I usually eat about every three to four hours because I get hungry. I don't have to eat a lot. But, you know, I snack all day long, and that suits me. So, yeah, if anything, it would be wise, intelligent to realize that, you know, you don't have to worry about getting sick, getting mad cow disease, or getting some weird germs or diseases that animals might carry, you know, when you go vegan or vegetarian. So, um, yeah, it's, it's only you know, common sense. And I'm sure that people who have, you know, gone from meat eating to being a healthy vegan, having a healthy vegan diet, also have realized that too. So, yeah. Um, since then I've, you know, I've gone away from soy products and I've gone more towards just healthy salads, you know, with vegan dressing and healthy, you know, grains, nuts, um, 
fruits, organic, of course. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, it's called evolution. So, um, a lot of people get angry at me because of one of my other videos where I called meat eaters retarded. But, you know, the thing is, you when you're eating animal's flesh, you're eating everything that this animal has eaten. So, if animals are being fed, you know, polluted, you know, grains that have, you know, derivatives of mercury because they use this type of uh, fungicide that prevents fungus from growing on the grain that has a derivative of mercury, then yeah, you will be retarded eventually if you eat enough meat. Okay? So, fuck off. And uh, for the other people, take care.